I really like the way you use humor, and it, it seems, um, it seems like you put it in at just the right place. And one of the things I'm curious about that is whether that came very naturally at the beginning or whether you found your footing when it comes to where to make things funny. No, it's just me. I'm sarcastic. From the beginning? Really? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm, I, as, as the readers call me, they call me sassy. Okay. Guilty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I just have that really quirky, snarky sense of humor. That's why I get along with middle school kids so well. I, you know, I get them, you know. I, I guess, I'm, as my wife will be the first to tell you, I guess I never really grew up myself. So <laughs> I'm, kind of, I'm kind of in that mindset. Um, I like humor. I mean, it, you know, certainly we've known that. I mean, it, even the darkest tragedies. I mean, Hamlet, you know, uh, Macbeth. I mean, these people with blood-drenched hands, and then, you know, this doofus comes in and starts telling fart jokes, you know? I mean, <laughs> and, and this is Shakespeare, right. you know? Um, comic, comic relief is really important. It, it sort of leavens things. It, it makes the tragedy somehow even more tragic to know that there's still humor in the world that goes along with that. Yeah. Just saying. I mean, if you're walking through Tartarus, you know, it helps to crack a few jokes. So. <laughs> uh, Michael Shabin, who's no slouch when it comes to creating fantasy worlds, right, uh, has said that he doesn't think that he could think of a work of literature as great if it didn't have some kind of humor in it. It's that essential. I think so. Uh, if, if I read a book that has absolutely no sense of humor, uh, I have a difficult time getting through it. I, I think this, you know, you're taking yourself way too seriously if you can't smile once in a while, no matter what you're talking about. You know, plus you're not being very nice to the reader, too. I think that makes Why? it very, very hard. Why do you say that? Well, I mean, I, as a reader myself, if, if, I, if there's never a break, if it's just all drama all the time, I mean, that, that wears me down. I, I want to know that the characters have some kind of uh, other dimension to them, other than just you know, feeling whatever a drama they're going through. I want to know that they have a sense of humor, that they can smile and laugh at their predicament sometimes. It's really, I think, a key part of the chemistry between Percy and Annabeth. I, and I love Annabeth, so we'll talk a little more, bit more about her. But um, is that right to say, do you think? Humor is a, is a, and that dryness, that sarcasm, basically, that you talked about that reflects your own humor is there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Percy and Annabeth, um, you know, they, they come from a lot of different places. They're not based on one particular uh, set of kids, but partly that relationship is based on my relationship with my wife, who's been with me since I was 16. I mean, we've been together a long time. Wow. And I can, you know, when I talk about Percy and Annabeth being a couple at 16, I can draw directly from that experience because we have a long history together. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of humor involved. I mean, I don't think you can make a successful relationship if you can't make each other laugh, if you can't sort of gently and lovingly kind of go the other person into not taking themselves so seriously. It's like, okay, you sure about that seaweed brain? Really? You're gonna do that? <laughs> um.